the quantum field is self-organizing and self-regulating and self-evolving, then uh, it could be imbued with subjectivity. Is the quantum field imbued with subjectivity? This is debate between mainstream scientists who know, say no, the quantum field is objective. And yet, it is a mode of knowing and experience in the mind of mathematicians and physicists. Okay, so it is a particular model that says that's the moon that it exists um, even if no one is experiencing it. You see the fallacy of this naive realism and um, Einstein being brilliant was also a naive realist. Naive realism simply means the look of the world is the human look of the world or the perception of the world is the human perception of the world. Very anthropo centric, we can see that species and moon experiences correlate and therefore there is no single moon. There are innumerable moons and of course um, uh, as humans we can also have a romantic experience of the moon, full night, moon rituals, weddings, celebrations and uh, all kinds of uh, romantic songs are written um, uh, in the moonlight. And uh, when, uh, when uh, clouds move against the moon, we experience the moon as dancing. So was Einstein right that the moon would still exist if no one was looking? And would it look like the human moon even if no one was looking, and how do we prove that? How do we prove an observer-independent reality? How do we assume that the human perception of the moon is the real moon? And how do we um, assume that the moon would still be there as we experience it when we are no longer there? Um, the moon, so many moons, right? Which one is the correct moon? Is there one single moon? Or there are innumerable moons as species-specific experiences, all observer-dependent. But the ultimate observer is not even the biological observer. The ultimate observer is both biological observer and the moon or the object of experience entangled in that field of infinite possibilities coalescing as probability clouds and then actualizing as a particular look of the moon. So I went through this elaborate response because um, a friend of mine recently posed this same question. Was Einstein right? Or actually, he was under the influence of naive realism. What are your thoughts? And why is this important? Because if reality is observer dependent, then who or what is the observer and where is the observer? And uh, uh, if we go to the wisdom traditions, the observer is a field of awareness which projects itself as entanglement of biological systems as entangled with the experience they're having, which we call the objective universe. But both the biological observer and the observed phenomenon come from a field of infinite possibilities which knows itself as all observers, all modes of observation and all observed phenomena within itself. So ultimate reality is a field of awareness that differentiates into different modes of knowing 
different knowers and different experiences that we call the known. And there are innumerable. So we can say that the fundamental subjectivity is in a field of awareness that is differentiating into species specific modes of knowing species specific knowers and species specific objects known but those objects are not objects that the perceptual activities of that species specific measuring device and ultimate reality is beyond all of that and that is called existence so existence is self-aware and knows itself as innumerable knowers innumerable modes of knowing and innumerable phenomena every form is a phenomenon and every from phenomenon is the fluctuation of modes of knowing and experience which are essentially uh, modifications of awareness as sensations, sense perceptions, images, feelings, thoughts. Now this seems crazy, but reality is not only stranger than we think it is, it's stranger than we can think. But if we grasp this, then we see that everything that we call the world and the universe and a body and a mind is a human construct based on human modes of knowing and experience and reality is even more mysterious than we can think but once we experience that reality then everything uh, disappears uh, like that we thought was real birth death etc they're all human constructs and uh, that which we are is beyond human constructs and also is the creator of human construct, constructs. It's the divine immeasurable consciousness, Allah, Ein Sof, Brahman, um, ultimate reality, pure consciousness. That's who we are. Sat, Chit, Anand. Sat means truth, Chit, pure awareness, Ananda, the joy that comes from the wholeness of being and what it does it gives us a new identity beyond space and time it gives us um, um, the experience of truth goodness beauty harmony love compassion joy equanimity and it takes us beyond the human constructs of birth and death okay um, let me know your thoughts any feedback